Hello. One thing we've mentioned about output stages is that uh, oftentimes they are designed to be able to provide large currents to a load or provide large voltages, uh, which means high power dissipation. And high power dissipation means an increase in the junction temperature of the transistor, uh, and there is a limit to how much temperature a transistor can withstand before it basically breaks. And because of this, um, there's typically other protection circuitry that is included as part of an output stage or a power amplifier. Uh, the two most common ones, or two of the most common ones, will be short circuit protection and thermal shutdown. In the case of short circuit protection, uh, the way it works, I've represented here a sample circuit. It consists of a sample uh, class AB output stage, which is biased with uh, two diodes in series. Output transistors are QN and QP, and notice that we have added uh, resistors RE1 and RE2. In all reality, we've only added the source circuit protection on the, on the top side for QN, which is comprised of resistor Q1 and RE1. And uh, the way that operates is that normally Q1 is turned off uh, for values of load current that are less than the maximum current that we want to protect the circuit from. Uh, if IL starts to increase, notice that the voltage across resistor RE1 will also increase, and at some point, the voltage across RE1 will equal uh, the turn-on voltage for the VVE junction of Q1. At that point, when the current reaches that point, then transistor Q1 will turn on, it will uh, draw current away from the base of QN, essentially we say it will starve the base of QN as it turns on, um, and since the collector current of QN is proportional to the base current of QN, uh, then by starving the base current we are also limiting the collector current. And so essentially the maximum value of IL that we can get in this configuration is going to be equal to 0.7 volts divided by RE1 because as soon as the voltage across RE1 reaches 0.7 volts, then Q1 is on, and, uh, and our short circuit protection circuit starts to operate to limit that maximum output current. Short circuit protection is also sometimes referred to as overload protection. And it protects, you know, against common mistakes, such as shorting the output of a power amplifier or something like that. Another uh, typical protection circuit that we encounter in power devices, power stages, uh, is thermal shutdown protection. And again, all of this because we have seen that transistors can get destroyed if their junction temperature ex uh, exceeds certain values. And so thermal shutdown, we're not going to look at any particular examples, but it typically consists of um, uh, some circuitry that is normally turned off um, and it only gets turned on when the temperature exceeds a certain value. Let's imagine, for example, uh, that there is a transistor that is normally off, but as uh, temperature exceeds a certain value, somehow the transistor gets turned on, typically via some device that has a positive temperature coefficient, such as a Zener diode, and so its voltage um, increases with temperature, and at some point it will increase to the level of being able to turn on the base emitter junction of a particular transistor, uh, which will then uh, typically suck all the bias current from the circuit, thus turning on the circuit. So that's the way thermal shutdown works. Uh, so again, those are some of the most common features of output stages. Uh, there are other features, and there are uh, all of different uh, and more and more complex configurations for both overload protection and thermal shutdown.